U.S. Election 2024 E. Jean Carroll faces new insult from Donald Trump Former President Donald Trump may be inviting additional defamation lawsuits after asserting that E. Jean Carroll's accusations against him were a, a completely made-up narrative, according to legal experts. The Background After coming forward with accusations of sexual assault against Trump, Carroll said in a 2019 lawsuit that the former president accused her of lying. This was the same year that she claimed Trump had assaulted her in the dressing room of a department shop sometime in the mid-1990s. In a separate defamation action that Carroll brought in 2022, a jury in a civil trial held Trump accountable for sexual assault and defamation in May 2023. For million dollars was Carroll's verdict. According to Trump, the two lawsuits are an attempt to derail his presidential campaign, and he has denied any wrongdoing in them. During a January trial to establish his liability in the 2019 claim, he maintained his denial of knowing Carol. A false thing, a totally made-up story, was Trump's description of the reason he was had to post more than $91 million as a bond during Saturday's rally in Rome, Georgia. He informed the audience that being wealthy isn't always a blessing. I could make some assumptions regarding the going rate. Roughly $91 million, all stemming from baseless allegations leveled against me by a woman whose identity I totally ignored. I was the target of a defamation suit after denying her claims in a book and declaring, it's so absurd, it's false. That is the beginning. Sean Lon Wu, a former federal prosecutor turned legal commentator, stated that Trump is the gift that keeps on giving to E. Jean Carroll and her counsel when asked about Trump's most recent remarks on CNN. That's much the same thing as before. The fact that he insists on calling it fake and made up leaves him vulnerable to further legal trouble. It appears that Donald Trump defamed E. Jean Carroll again tonight in Rome, Georgia, for those of you who were wondering how long it would take. Lisa Rubin, a legal analyst for MSNBC, wrote on Saturday night about this development. It's a legal and strategic decision, but even though he doesn't name her, it's incredibly obvious. According to political commentator David Rothkopf, E. Jean Carroll's cash machine will be Trump's fate. Newsweek reached out to attorneys for Trump and Carroll via email on Sunday to request a statement that will undoubtedly bolster his attractiveness. Upcoming charges may include Section 240.25 harassment in the first degree if he continues. It is considered first-degree harassment when an individual does something to another person on purpose or frequently in a way that makes them feel threatened, either physically or emotionally. Not a fine, but possible jail time, person is so disorganized. Before Trump's children see their inheritance utterly drained by several litigation and legal expenses, they should step in if their father is as insane as his public behavior suggests.